What matters to the students of PA Distance? I love my classes. I'm preparing for my future. This is what I actually want to learn. Estoy aprendiendo español. I'm meeting people who get me. Cooking club. There are so many things that are important to our students, but here, one thing matters most of all. PA Distance is where teaching still matters. Enroll now at padistance.org. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. We've said this so many times. I know where I am. Do you? Do you really? When my partner opened his mind to the potential that there was more, something else happened. A very slow education of him to an alliance with this which is Cryon, an alliance that grew in trust and love, appropriateness, and even logic. That the entire world celebrated things like prayer, a one God, prophets, those able to do healings, messages from the other side, the entire planet in some way believes in the afterlife, all of these things. And yet the idea of sitting in a chair and having a direct connection was not necessarily acceptable. And it took a long time for him to realize that the apostles themselves, the prophets themselves, all of these human beings who were giving the information were channeling. What else do you call it? What else would you call it? When you have a book written by men and women and you call it the word of God, what else would you call that? It's the word of men and women under the influence of channeling. Call it what you want, given whatever name you wish. But dear ones, there is a connection between you and the beyond, whatever you think it is. And then the information started to come of what it was. A loving, beautiful, non-judgmental God who put things together Souls that were always there were not necessarily created just to be on the planet. An old energy of human nature was then placed upon God. It still is. That God is just as dysfunctional as humans. That God sets rules, has certain kinds of discipline. God cares what you do, whether you turn right or left. And then if you do it wrong, this beautiful, loving God will take you and punish your soul for eternity if you don't do it right. Dear ones, this is human nature. This is not God. And slowly, very slowly, especially after the shift, there is an awakening with so many an awakening that says perhaps what we were told is slightly different. These who would love their prophet can still love their prophet. The prophet is beautiful and filled with knowledge, love, wisdom, benevolence, purity, healing powers. You can still love your prophet and understand that perhaps, just perhaps, that the God the prophet represents is bigger than you were told in any doctrine. Is bigger. More loving, more gracious, more understanding.
And that's where it sits today. This shift is starting to awaken so many, two potentials. You don't necessarily sit in a light and be changed. What happens is you sit in a light and see things you didn't in the dark. So each and every human being gets a chance to see something they did not see before. There is no energy of guidance that is being put upon the planet that was not there before. Instead, it's the human beings, as it always was, as it should be, the human beings controlling themselves with free will and the enlightenment that happens is that which is accomplished as a result of the free will. And as the light is turned on on this planet, the free will of billions start to see it or not. The old souls are the first ones who awaken. The old souls are here, are listening, are part of this, what we call the Lemurian experience. The channels of these days we'll be talking about that mostly about that but we have to start at the beginning we must give you some insight on how this occurred and each time we talk about history the ones who listen who are historians or scientists roll their eyes and stop listening let me tell you something about human nature, scientist, historian, just for a moment. Are you excited about history, historian, archeologist? YubiKey acts as a physical two-factor authentication device for hundreds of services like Gmail, YouTube, Twitter, Dropbox, password managers, and many more to help you protect your online accounts. There's no copying and pasting one-time codes. It's just a touch or tap on the key, and that's all that's needed to log in. It comes in many different form factors, so you can select the key that works best for you. And the answer is yes. You would not have gone there, done that. You wouldn't have the degrees you have. You wouldn't be so excited unless you really, really were on board with these things that humanity did, how it happened, what's going on, and yet, you paint yourself into a box of what you believe happened. You go through a school, and the instructors paint to you what has been discovered. They will then postulate, based on the discoveries that have been made, what the probability was that took place before they knew what took place. There's extrapolation and it's logical. And that becomes the model of what took place on the planet. You would think that an archeologist or a historian or a scientist would be drooling for better things as they were discovered. And I will tell you what happens. This is such a logical, linear, old energy, but dear ones, this is what happens. They drool as long as the discoveries support their box of what they think happened. And when they discover something that is outside of what they were taught, they usually discard it. And they're not alone. Physicists do the same thing. This is human nature, and this is the construct that will begin to change. The construct that most don't That's even recognize happens. exists. The box of belief of science and history that maintains itself based upon what it has seen, not what it has not seen. 
therefore when we start to talk about the planet in ways that are not in school or taught it's discarded immediately it's too esoteric there's no evidence therefore we will not look I sit in front of those who are listening and I give you history that is beautiful beyond the scope of education on the planet one that does not necessarily fit into the boxes of what is taught and if those boxes would open and allow for the potential and the possibility of some of these things it would be the fast track to a glorious potential and information that would be so much grander and filled with wonder, filled with wonder, more than there is even as you look at it now. The history of humanity is so grand in its development in the way you got here, not in what you did, but what God did. Every time we talk about souls, we will identify it is the soul of the human being. And we have said this before in those lectures about souls, the channelings about souls. There are many kinds, but the human being soul, that's the one with God inside. It's the only one with God inside, the human being soul. And it starts literally here on this planet the visions that the doctor has had are so magnificent because they are metaphoric in other words that which the human being can understand and draw and picture which means something that the human being cannot even comprehend but you get a picture inside of what might happen not when you get here, but even in the planning stages before you get here, how it aligns, how it locks together, how it picks up those things in the cave of creation so that you sit here today as who you are. Each one of you, billions, have a soul which is so grand But the ones in front of me and listening the old souls have ones which may very well include Lemuria but I'm getting ahead of myself there is something called a cosmic soul and it's a bad word to use a soul is something you consider that belongs to you your name your body we've discussed that, that is not exactly right either but when you talk about the cosmic soul this is you when you're not here this is the you when you're home and I mean not here this soul you have not the human soul the soul that is cosmic is who you are in the universe you see there was no beginning and no end of who you are you come and go on this planet so often your lives are so short and it involves one soul the cosmic soul becomes the human soul partly for those times we've talked about that before part of who you are stays on the other side you knew that you call it the higher self or whatever you wish but you are aware that part of you is always a little beyond you Dear ones, there are those of you who still don't understand what Lemuria was. Lemuria was not the Garden of Eden. That was tens of thousands of years, way before Lemuria happened. When the seeding began, the creation story that you read about in so much scripture is accurate and it's true and it's all metaphoric. It actually happened just this way go back to that which is fundamental which you learned 
as a child, and this is accurate and it's true, something called the Garden of Eden is a metaphor for Gaia. Gaia is the mother energy. Can I tell you now that Gaia was so instrumental in this advanced, very advanced evolution of the human being. It was Gaia who cooperated so greatly in ways you still don't know to push the envelope of speed of how this would happen. Going to single cell microbes practically to the human being in such a fast, fast way. All design, all ready to go. It was more than natural selection. It was pushed. Do you think he knows that this food is organic? Or that this one has a serving and a half of veggies? We doubt we're the number one organic baby food brand for a reason. We are Nutrition on a Mission. When buying a vehicle, you win when dealers compete for your business. The same is true when you sell a vehicle. Simply enter your vehicles in... And Gaia was here to accept it. Gaia has not only an energy, but a consciousness. We even call it the soul of Gaia, the collective soul. Tree huggers, we've talked about this before. You don't hug one tree, you hug them all. The Garden of Eden is Gaia. The Adam and the Eve are the names of the genders, men and women. And according to this metaphoric, beautiful story, an angel came and showed them and implanted in them the knowledge of dark and light. And it's implied in scripture that the knowledge was not there before they came. The angel gave it to them. That is accurate and true. Humans were ready for what I will call the seeding of the information of dark and light. Tens of thousands of years before Lemuria. We'll say 200,000 years ago, it began. If you compare that to a four billion year old planet, it was yesterday. And then an acceleration. Something else happened. My partner will talk about it. There's evidence of it. When humanity began to change and was no longer like the other mammals of the planet. Even biologists have noticed it in the history that they can see and they study. Where does Lemuria come in? Go back 50,000 years. Not, not the Adam and Eve story. Lemuria is, is the launching pad of teaching. You got to a certain point where the teaching began. And those who seated you from the stars came to stay. Dear ones, there are some cultures in some places including your own, who say they're still there. Some of them take legendary names, like Pele, for instance. Isn't it interesting? The god of the volcano itself, the island itself, all that is, is female. Unlike the Greek gods who started with males, then they made them dysfunctional. <laughs> Pele has remained the same. Pele is the metaphoric echo of the Pleiadian mother who understands and is powerful and loving and wise. It's legend, dear ones, but it is important for the place you sit in. 
And so this particular episode in history, which is the small continent of Mu, La Muria, was that which is the largest mountain on the planet pushed up by what you call the magma of a hot spot for a while in order to seed this launching pad and on this mountain many of you participated one time it was very special here you didn't incarnate over and over and over and over you only hear one time it created something interesting in the civilization of Lemuria you were all first timers and so there had to be an anchoring and the anchoring was this that the Pleiadians the mothers were the teachers and they created a group of humans who lived a very long time who were also the teachers so there would have to be a stability of sameness for the maturity of the information to grow you could not have newcomers come and go and come and go without the stability of some staying and passing on the information they would become then the old souls just a few of Lemuria some of them are here some of them know they're here but they don't know their part they don't even know their Lemurian name but they were and I don't mean those who passed through I mean those who stayed for a long time my partner wasn't necessarily one of them he was not a teacher it's interesting <laughs> who he was and what he did is insignificant he was not a teacher the teachers are here, some of them now. And these are the ones who are going to resonate the most to the land that is here. This brings you up to 50,000 years ago. We're going to talk more about that as we go. We're going to give you information at that which is the lip of the caldera. We're going to talk <coughs> more about Makua as we did last night. We're going to give you some insights, perhaps, on what actually took place. But dear ones, let it not be lost that in the history of humanity, unwritten, unseen, undiscovered, you sit at one of the most important places that are spiritual for the entire planet. There was no accident that this mountain was in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. There was no travel to and from it. It could not be tainted, it could not be changed, it could not be conquered, and it remained the same for thousands of years. The purity was the same, the teaching was the same. The mothers remained the same ones. You would ask yourself, how could any creature from any planet, anywhere, live for thousands and thousands of years? Because, dear ones, the Pleiadians came from a graduate planet where biology wasn't necessarily what you think it is today. Their soul long ago had intertwined with their biology, so they were almost forever in a biological form. Almost forever. They would choose to come and go between that which you call the veil. And then there is this. You might look at them as gods, and many did. But there'll come a day when you are just like them. That is the plan. That is the beginning of this cycle that is so magnificent. The reason that the entourage comes in, the reason that the angels are here, the reason that the galaxy is looking at you because of what has happened, what is happening now. All that you see on this planet that is so strange, that is so changing, that is bothering you so much, is all about the shift. 
systemics of systems must change and morph. Things have to fall over and be rebuilt in order for the integrity to begin again. And this is an example. What is taught these days is the core, the spirituality of the teaching of the mothers that were here. While you are here, be open to downloads. I speak of those on the mountain right now in front of me. Be open to downloads. This means that word which you all know, which is a vernacular, you all understand. Be open to receiving something that is non-linear, that will be pervasive in your body, that is new and filled with light. Aha ideas. Some of you will not have the realization of the download until you leave. And you'll get back to where you came from. And some of you live here. You'll return to your homes and you will be changed. Even those who live here and feel the dirt under their feet. Oh, you will kill have him, new <laughs> feelings about what it means. My heart. <laughs> Questions are asked, well, why is it that this particular mountaintop you call now the Big Island is specific to the others? And that is because this, even 50,000 years ago, is where Pele was. Because 50,000 years ago, much was different. It was a little more active, the volcano here, but the other ones were extinct. This is where it flowed. This is where new land was created. This is where a lot of the teaching was done. On this particular slope, of this particular peak of the mountain, which became an island. That's the history lesson. Here's the review. If you could see your cosmic Akash right now, if you could see your cosmic Akash, it would take your breath away. All of a sudden, the veil would lift and you'd say, <gasps> I'm forever. <laughs> and this idea of coming and going, birth and death, goes away. It goes away. You'd see the many incarnation as one, as we do. You'd see your soul returning over and over. You don't die. You don't die. Your body wears out, that's all. You don't die. Two distinctive perceptions. Life does not get related to the biology. It just doesn't. Can I tell you who the entourage is again and again? As long as my partner has been here from the very first time, the entourage is made up often of the souls that you've loved and lost in your lifetime. They're still here. Here's the confusing part. So many have reincarnated and yet they're here in the entourage. Well, how could that be? Welcome to non-linear multidimensionality, where many can be in many places at the same time. You believe that about Santa Claus, what's so hard? That's what it is. You're here at the right time to feel things perhaps you weren't ready to feel. To have teaching because you'll remember it You'll remember it, and you'll remember the teacher. And often this will bring tears to your eyes. To realize you are so off-worldly. Your very DNA is not fully human. That is the love story. We'll tell you more about that. That's who you are. That's who you are watching this planet and a cosmic akash that would remember all of the galaxies all of the universes you never were born is a bad word you never ever had a beginning you're a circle of time you always were where is the beginning and the end of a circle that's who you are
but for the earth you represent the beginning of the teaching of the purity and the love of God inside the oneness of all things belongs to you and now you start returning with that perception of all that is I am Kryon in love with humanity on the dirt <laughs> of the place where you learned all about me all about that which was God all about you and so it is and so it is